We're continuing mitzvah number two, pru revu, before fruitful and multiply. It should be a schus for my Rebbe, Arab Simcha Lev, Yosef Gadiz Rabbein Shenachana, and his holy wife, Dvora Bas Shiva Bas Chana, um, that uh, it should give them strength and spiritual light so that they can continue to teach Klal Israel and inspire us to come closer to Hashem. Um, it should be also for Klal Israel and the Shechina, that we should all be redeemed and, and come be close to Hashem very, very soon. So very interesting is that why is bris mila happen on <clears throat> the male organ? Why is it on the sexual organ? Why our entire relationship to God is connected to that? So one of the question we have to ask is what is this God organ about? Why, what is this sexual organ about? The, the, the sexual organ is used in order to create a connection. Um, in Kabbalah, um, it's referred as the Sphira Yesod. Yesod correspond to the sexual organ. And what is Yesod? Yesod is a foundation, something that is strong, solid, on which you can build. Um, but also interestingly, Yesod, uh, the foundation is connected to, is the Sphira Yesod that takes all the other spheros, all the emotions, all the spiritual, all the intellectual energies and pass it down straight into Malchus, into the woman, into uh, or the, the recipient, which gives us the ability to understand that if we want to truly have a powerful foundation in life, and I suspect that this is why in the Gemara, the there was someone who wanted to learn about Judaism to convert and he he came to Beis Shammai and Beis Hillel and, and asking a question, please can you tell me uh, the entire Torah standing on one foot? Why one foot? The foot is, is, is uh, just the represent that one foundation, that one pillar um, that Yesod. And... Um, and Basilel understood right away what he wanted to understand, that what is the key, key to really um, make it happen and being able to build one's life and come close to God. And interestingly, what does Basilel answer? He answers the same thing, basically, right? It's connect to love your neighbor as yourself, but, but he... he Translate it into don't do to someone else what you don't want uh, someone else to do, to do to you. Which, again, has to do with uh, the relationship between two in individuals. The ability to um, connect to the other, the ability to love the other, to the ability to enter the other, to penetrate the other and understand what's inside of him. As is to say, I'm putting myself in the shoe of the other. Um, and what, what, what we're finding here is that God is saying, do you want to be able to have a true, powerful relationship with me? You want the foundation of what's going to be um, our relationship like? Well... <coughs> you have to learn how to love. You have to learn how to have a relationship with the other, how to connect. Yesod, again, Yesod is, is going to be the organ that connects a man or a woman. You need to, to have that foundation strong, that connection. There's a reason why with couples we say that, uh, I mean, the therapists say that one of the main problem in our generation for couples is communication. The communication has to flow. Um, and that's why you have all those from the woman's side. Nida is where she works on her inner uh, feeling and find out how to communicate. It also has to do with the internal sexual organs, Nida, where she does an introspection on how she feels about her communication with her husband. And the man has to also uh, be constantly aware 
It's almost like his responsibility um, for the couple, for both of them to come close to God. If the man is able to have a straight communication, a healthy, loving, giving uh, communication with his spouse, he's going to understand how <clears throat> or God is going to allow, number eight, God is going to allow him to transcend his communication with God and be able to grow in it and have have fruits come out of that um, some something transcendental that he he didn't have before. Um, so that that's that's the gift. That's the message. That's the essence. So to to resume, it's, the idea is that if I really want to come close to God, if I want to be able to understand what's the foundation of my relation with God, I need to learn how to love a human being. Being married, having a relationship, having an intimate relationship with someone else is, lear is learning to love at least that one person. God, our entire life, for 120 years, says, I want you to love at least that one person perfectly. Tr strive for perfection. And our spouse is the ultimate um, individual that was designated specially for us to learn how to truly love. And it's very challenging. But if I have that foundation clear, if this is, I understand my life is all about what Judaism is all about, like Hillel explained to that individual, then we will be successful with God. Let us not fake ourselves that if I think I'm so spiritual, I'm so close to God, but I cannot be I don't have a strong connection with another human being. I'm fooling myself. It is not real. It has to be real in Shemaim, Veharetz, with God and with individual. And at least with one main individual, the spouse, because the spouse is going to be the foundation for all the other relationships. So may we remind ourselves when we go to a bris milah, when, when we fulfill the mitzvah of circumcision, when we see the sign of the covenant, to understand that this is a constant reminder of our ultimate goal, ultimate purpose, ultimate foundation, that we need to learn how to love and how to communicate with our spouse. That's the foundation. That's where every other communication and every relationship with man and God will be depending on. So we have to put as much effort in our marriage as possible. It requires tremendous strength and the help of Hashem because this is, again, the eighth day, something transcendental. Um, and it's the hardest energy organ to, to learn how to control. So may we all be able to be blessed by God, to be able to fulfill the mitzvah properly. Um, because the mitzvah doesn't stop uh, once we do that. Just the, the, again, the mitzvah is like my Rebbe explained, it's a concept. And really the mitzvah of bris milah is our entire life to keep the covenant alive, to use that uh, energy, to use that organ uh, in the proper way throughout our lives. Each time we use it the proper way, we are renew, we are making the covenant become alive. We make the circumcision, the bris become um, fulfilled completely. We take the message because we don't actually do the, the mitzvah. So usually the, the father, the parents uh, does it for us. So how, how do I get to fulfill it? Let's say I don't have a son. I get to fulfill it each time I use that place properly. I learn how to love. I learn to be sensitive. I learn to transcend my de desires in order, and in order to communicate better and to know the other one better. So may we all be able to fulfill that beautiful mitzvah.